All right, good people. What you have here is a setup for a perfect oyster knife. Um, we've got a selection of oyster knives because you never know what type of oyster you're going to have. you got your oysters, of course, which we have uh, sugar tick oysters from Tom's Cove down on the eastern shore. Then we got a beverage. we got a nice little platform that's going to elevate um, when you're shucking. This might come in handy. Um, of course, and a towel to uh, keep position. I don't really use a towel, but um i think it's good for beginners to have that just so you don't uh slip or lose traction i like my board here this is what i use um so far as oyster shucking this is called stabbing and of course stabbing is where you uh have a chest beak stabber which this is um and then you have um well what it is is it's got a nice handle to it a nice um blade that has a little flex a little give to it and that's good when you're going through the uh through the mouth of the oyster. Now let's go over the oyster real quick. Um, so the oyster, we have the bottom or the cup, and then we have the top or the flat side. We have the back or the hinge, and then we have the front, which is where the mouth is. And before we start, I guess we need to take a sip. Today I got some flying dog. This is the raging, you guys can read that. Um, <laughs> so with going through the front or stabbing, you just apply a little pressure. Now I'm gonna, this is what the towel is for. Let's just imagine if you don't have this, this is just to be your bottom uh, or the table or wherever you're shucking. Now <clears throat> the, the towel is for not only for slip, but so you don't stab yourself, okay? So what you're gonna do is place the tip of the knife into on the edge of the lip of the oyster, apply a little pressure, and then you're in. And once you're in, it'll kind of stay there. Uh, now we're gonna just uh, slide the knife down, guiding it right on the edge of the shell. And the whole time, we're just going back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna move this house just so you can get a better idea and see clearly. So back and forth, back and forth. And all I'm doing, I'm just gonna move this to the side for a minute, but all I'm doing is just going back and forth, back and forth until I've worked my way all the way and disconnected it. So the oyster is connected to the shell here, of course, and then on the top, the same place. So you gotta remember that. So to disconnect the top part, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna act like the, it's still connected and I'm just gonna slide across. And you've shucked a perfect oyster with the stabbing method. The next method, of course, is your um, hinge shucking. Now with hinge shucking, and what I'm actually doing is looking for a nice, easy one. And when I say easy, the hinge is easy to see here. And I'm also gonna get, so this is a toadfish, this is good. And this is more, um, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, toadfish is a good one also. I'm gonna use a toadfish because it's easy to get. You can just go on the website and find this. But with the toadfish, you can either turn it like a doorknob or you can just pop it um, like a seesaw. So we're gonna try both. This is, and again, I'm just gonna use a towel. Usually I, I don't use towels, but I'm just gonna show you what you see. Um, I'm gonna, I'm applying pressure. I'm gonna turn it like a doorknob. Boom. And once you're in, you can just slide your knife down uh oh turn like a doorknob slide your knife down boom and then you're going to turn it around to yourself and then slide that's all you're doing um the next way of course like i said is the seesaw so i'm just applying pressure again you will be using your towel apply pressure Apply pressure up, like a seesaw, like I'm going up. You created that, uh, that gap, and this is the gap. As you can see, you can see inside, and you can just slide that knife right on around. Now, this sometimes can be an issue. I'm glad this happened. Um, all it is is where the shell got stuck to the oyster meat, and you're just gonna, right there, it's just like a little cut, and pull it off. 
Just gonna see if any more shell, and for other shell, you can just pull it off. You don't have to cut, just pull it off. Now remember, all pearls come back to me. And we're gonna disconnect that bottom. And that's shocking, guys. That's so easy. So go find you a good oyster shocking knife. And we also have these oyster ninja knives. Just reach out to me if you like one. Um, get you some something nice to cold to drink. Get you some fresh local oysters. Get you a towel. And you can have fun at your house uh, shocking oysters. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.